Many of us have been raised with the notion that Earth simply orbits the stationary sun. However, the reality is much more intricate and captivating. As we explore the intricacies of Earth's movements within the galaxy, we discover that our planet not only revolves around the sun, but also hurtles through space at an astonishing speed, along with our entire solar system. This motion may hold connections to some of the universe's profound mysteries. Scientific hypotheses propose that Earth's journey through the galaxy might expose us to cosmic rays, potentially causing genetic mutations and contributing to mass extinctions. Moreover, alterations in our planet's orbit around the Sun could impact the environment, possibly leading to drastic changes like another ice age. Understanding the way our planet navigates the universe allows us to gain a deeper appreciation for our position in space offering potential insights into broader questions such as the formation of our galaxy and the future that awaits us. Welcome to Spaceverse, where we unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, delve into the intricacies of Earth's dynamic movements within the solar system and the grandeur of its journey through the Milky Way galaxy. From the celestial dance of the local group to the cosmic tug of war with a great attractor, our channel explores the awe-inspiring complexity of space. Join us on this cosmic adventure as we navigate through the universe's expanses, shedding light on the profound interplay of celestial forces. To illustrate, envision yourself in an airplane flying steadily at a constant speed and altitude. While inside, it becomes challenging to perceive your velocity or even ascertain if you're moving. Your perspective suggests that only the external world is in motion. Contrastingly, an observer on the ground witnessing the aircraft passing by will notice its movement relative to their stationary position. This concept, initially articulated by Galileo Galilean in his 1632 work The Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems, encapsulates what we now term Galilean relativity or Galilean invariance. It articulates the idea that there is no absolute frame of reference for motion, and even with multiple valid frames of reference, we must select the most pertinent one based on the circumstances. How does this concept align with the movement of Earth and the entire solar system? Initially, we must establish the point of observation. Within our star system, the common understanding is that the planets orbit the Sun. However, when considering the broader context, a different perspective emerges. The solar system is in constant motion, spiraling through the vast expanse of our galaxy. One prominent example of relative motion in our solar system is Earth's orbit around the Sun. Earth's orbital path is not a perfect circle. Instead, it takes the form of an ellipse, with the Sun positioned at one of its foci. Consequently, Earth is closer to the Sun at certain points in its orbit and farther away at others. The closest position is termed perihelion, typically occurring around January 3rd, while the farthest point, aphelion, is usually reached around July 4th a pattern reflected in the seasonal changes. The conventional depiction of the solar system, with the Sun at its center and the planets revolving around it, is not entirely accurate in portraying the movement within our planetary system. Beyond mere revolution, the planets also exert gravitational forces, influencing the Sun's position. Notably, gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn wield significant gravitational influence on both the Sun and Earth leading to subtle alterations in the shape and orientation of their orbits. When Jupiter and Saturn align, even remotely, their gravitational impact extends to all celestial bodies in the solar system. This phenomenon, termed the perturbation of the outer planets, results in cumulative changes in Earth's orbit over time. These modifications, known as Milankovitch cycles, contribute to long-term shifts in the planet's climate and overall environment. An essential component of the Milankovitch cycles involves the variation in the tilt of Earth's axis, fluctuating from approximately 22 to 24.5 degrees over a cycle lasting about 41,000 years. This axial tilt alteration influences the amount of solar radiation reaching diverse parts of Earth's surface, subsequently impacting the timing and intensity of glaciation periods, commonly known as ice ages. According to these cycles, some scientists anticipate that in the relatively near future, Earth might enter a new ice age, spanning tens of thousands of years. It's crucial to acknowledge, however, that the impacts of anthropogenic climate change currently hinder the natural climate cycles of Earth, complicating the precise prediction of the timing and severity of future ice ages. 
let's confront the undeniable truth. Earth's movement pattern within the solar system is highly intricate. However, its journey through the galaxy is even more convoluted. The Milky Way galaxy stands as a vast and intricate system, incorporating an immense number of stars, gas and dust, spanning over 100,000 light years in diameter. Among the galaxy's fascinating attributes is its rotation. Resembling a colossal spinning windmill, the galaxy's spiral arms trail along as it rotates. This rotational movement causes the stars, gas, and the entire galaxy to follow circular orbits around the galactic center. Earth finds its place within one of the spiral arms of the galaxy, positioned approximately 25,000 light years away from its center. Within the solar system, only a few celestial bodies significantly contribute to gravitational forces, with the Sun reigning as the predominant celestial body in this gravitational field. In contrast, the Milky Way's gravitational field lacks a dominant object. Instead, every component revolves within the cumulative gravitational fields of everything else. This complexity makes tracking the movement of the galaxy's components a challenging yet rewarding endeavor, offering valuable insights into the intricate structure of our galaxy. Much like Earth's orbit around the Sun, the Sun orbits around the center of the Milky Way galaxy at a speed of approximately 143 miles per second completing one orbit in nearly 230 million years. This celestial journey carries the Sun, and consequently Earth, through diverse regions of the galaxy, exposing us to varied cosmic environments. Notably, stars in the inner regions of the galaxy move at a faster pace than those in the outer regions. This discrepancy in speed stems from the increased mass closer to the center, resulting in a more potent gravitational pull. This phenomenon mirrors the way planets closer to the Sun exhibit faster orbital speeds than those farther away. Determining the Sun's speed relative to the center of the galaxy involves identifying recently formed young stars still in their birth orbits. By averaging their movements relative to us, we can infer that the Sun is advancing at a speed of approximately 3.1 miles per second towards the galactic center at about 5 miles per second and ascending out of the galactic disk at approximately 4.4 miles per second. Despite its seemingly minor motion, this peculiar movement carries significant implications for the trajectory of the Sun and the solar system within the galaxy. The Sun's orbit around the galaxy's center isn't perfectly circular. It follows a slightly elliptical path, oscillating above and below the galactic plane. This oscillation completes a full cycle roughly once every 60 million years. Various factors, including the gravitational influence of other stars, gas clouds and dark matter in the galaxy, shape this movement. Currently positioned several dozen light years above the middle plane of the galactic disk, determining the precise center is challenging due to more matter being below us than above us. The gravitational pull of the disk decelerates our upward movement, and in a few million years, we'll be approximately 300 light years above the center of the disk. Eventually, our upward motion will cease and will commence a descent. This vertical oscillation, more than a mere peculiarity, is linked to the Shiva hypothesis by some astronomers, suggesting a potential connection to mass extinctions on Earth. The central region of the disk poses greater risks for the solar system due to its higher density of stars and emitted radiation, although the motion of the galaxy's spiral arms is not entirely understood. It is theorized to result from a combination of factors, among these factors influencing the motion of the galaxy's spiral arms. One is the gravitational pull exerted by other galaxies in the local group, a cluster that encompasses the Milky Way. Another contributing factor is the presence of density waves, fought to propagate across the galactic disk guck into ripples in a pond. These waves can compel stars and gas to move in and out of the spiral arms, potentially impacting the environment and living conditions on Earth as we traverse these regions. For instance, as Earth navigates through areas of higher density, there might be an increase in cosmic rays and other high-energy particles reaching our planet's surface. This could have implications for climate, atmospheric chemistry, and even the evolution of life on Earth. As previously discussed, the Sun is not motionless. It traverses the Milky Way galaxy, towing Earth and the other planets in its wake. However, the Sun is not the sole object in motion. All stars in the galaxy are also in a state of movement. The motion of stars can be described in terms of their proper motion, denoting the observable shift of a star across the sky over time. Proper motion arises from the star's movement in space relative to the sun, typically measured in arc seconds per year. The angular displacement of a star in the sky over year 
This concept of proper motion enables astronomers to monitor the evolving positions of stars and study their movements and relationships with one another. This understanding proves crucial in gaining insights into the structure and dynamics of the Milky Way. Now let's delve into the movement of Earth in relation to the nearest stars. Owing to Earth's orbit around the Sun, the apparent positions of nearby stars in the night sky undergo slight changes over time, a phenomenon known as parallax. This effect occurs because, in different points in its orbit, Earth occupies distinct positions, leading to varying perspectives of nearby stars. The amount of observed parallax depends on a star's distance from Earth, with closer stars exhibiting more noticeable parallax than those farther away. Astronomers leverage the observed parallax to ascertain the distances to nearby stars, a vital tool for comprehending the size and structure of a galaxy. Besides parallax, our perception of the night sky is influenced by the proper motion of nearby stars. Over several years or decades, the positions of these nearby stars can significantly change due to their movement in space. This implies that the constellation patterns we currently observe will appear somewhat altered in the future and would have been somewhat different in the past. The impact of proper motion is particularly noticeable for nearby stars exhibiting substantial proper motion, essentially the fast-moving stars. Now that we possess a captivating understanding of how our solar system traverses the galaxy, one inquiry remains. How do we navigate through the universe as a whole? Interestingly, the Milky Way is not undertaking this journey alone. Our galaxy experiences a continual pull from the gravitational fields of various masses in its vicinity. Currently, we are rapidly approaching the Andromeda galaxy at a speed of a couple of hundred miles per second. Yet, this is not the sole facet of our movement. The Milky Way is part of a galaxy group known as the Local Group, comprising more than 54 other galaxies, with our nearest neighbor being the Andromeda galaxy, the Local Group, along with numerous other galaxy groups and clusters is advancing towards a mysterious superdensity within a supercluster known as the Great Attractor. Positioned about 150 million light-years away, the Great Attractor exerts such strong gravitational force that it influences the motion of galaxies within hundreds of millions of light-years. Consequently, the local group is drawn towards the Great Attractor at a speed of about 373 miles per second. Nevertheless, this movement doesn't mark the end of Earth's journey in the universe. Our entire universe is undergoing expansion, causing all galaxies within it to move away from each other. This expansion isn't a spatial movement, but rather a stretching of space itself. The universe is expanding at an accelerating rate, leading to an increase in the distance between galaxies over time. Despite all this motion, we can still utilize the cosmic microwave background radiation as a reference point to determine our speed relative to the rest of the universe. This radiation, a remnant of the Big Bang's residual heat, pervades the entire universe and is nearly uniform in all directions. By measuring minuscule variations in this radiation, scientists have calculated that Earth and our entire solar system are traversing the universe at approximately 229 miles per second relative to the cosmic microwave background radiation. At this juncture, it's no longer a surprising revelation that Earth is far from stationary. Instead, it's a diminutive yet significant component of the intricate system of celestial movements. The pronounced complexity of our planet's motion is a remarkably intricate phenomenon. Initially, our planet gracefully orbits the radiant sun, a practice maintained for billions of years. However, this is merely the surface. The solar system, encompassing our planet, propels through the expansive realms of the Milky Way galaxy hurtling forward at an incredible speed and creating a corkscrew pattern in its wake. And that's not the entirety. The Milky Way is part of a galactic assembly known as the Local Group, featuring several nearby galaxies. Together, they engage in a cosmic dance as they advance toward the enigmatic gravitational force, the Great Attractor, initiating a tug of war that propels the Local Group through space at several hundred miles per second. Yet, even this is not the culmination of the narrative. The universe itself is undergoing expansion, a revelation dating back to Edwin Hubble's groundbreaking findings in the 1920s. This expansion results in galaxies moving away from each other at a staggering pace. To sum up, Earth is more than a mere celestial body traversing space. It is an integral element of a grand design, a network of cosmic motions that are both intricate and awe-inspiring. Despite being a minuscule speck in the vastness of the universe, 
the movement of our planet is a crucial puzzle piece in the vastness of space. That's it. Thank you for joining us on this celestial voyage through Spaceverse. If you enjoyed unraveling the wonders of the universe with us, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic explorations.